All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jen. We're here over on the uh, worldwide multiplayer reveal uh, video live stream thing. It literally just says three. I, uh, why? <laughs> why does it just say three? I don't know why it's frozen at three. Does it mean three minutes? In a chat, <laughs> three years. Three Call of Duties launching confirmed. Yeah. I've been using more of like the YouTube gaming shit ever since Tim switched over. And I was like just trying to look at all the features and shit. Oh, yeah. By the way, yesterday I ended up turning on memberships on the channel. I did not expect that many people to actually join as a member. So hey, if any of you guys did, do that i appreciate you thank you in terms of what you get for becoming a member i do <laughs> so from what i know after this multiplayer reveal there's going to be a whole lot of people that are able to actually live stream the game itself and they'll be able to play for like the stream their multiplayer gameplay for and then they'll be able to get off yeah okay so we got less than a minute left a lot of people were asking and i've been seeing a lot of people mention it to me i was invited early to play the alpha the, the alpha for Champions Hill early. I was invited to that and I played it early, but I didn't upload any of the early gameplay. I waited and I played the public version of it with everybody else. So I didn't use any early gameplay or anything like that. I provided my feedback and everything and what I thought in detail about the map, especially. To a degree, it did kind of get addressed. Apparently there's a perk coming that's gonna, you know, kind of make the uh, radar work at least hopefully a little bit better. We'll see how the actual game plays, but uh, we'll see actual live stream gameplay, but I did not get invited to the extra stuff for the actual multiplayer gameplay so i only got invited to champion hill time is finally here welcome audio to the multiplayer scum. with greg oh Reistorf, God, the multiplayer what is this, audio? this dude sounds like he's talking to an xbox 360 microphone we will show you our vision of the multiplayer experience for call of duty vanguard i've been here on our things. last project I'm gonna be honest I'm we brought, we're taking liberties and risks to deliver something completely fresh new and fun okay risks but all right here we go Warriors, saboteurs, assassins. Tell me you can use a samurai sword from day one. I just want to play this shit on PC. On your rear. Tactical sprint. We've already played the game, obviously. Nice quick scope. I appreciate it. I need to see the sniper attachments and camos. 20 maps. I think 16 of them are 6v6. Big possibility that quite a few of them could be trash. Next level customization. Same gunsmith. Global operators. So we got more operators. We knew that was coming. November 5th. What is this? Pre-order now and get early access to the open beta. Digital pre-orders get instant access to the Was that a tease for the, the war? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Was that a tease? We're going to talk to our art directors about Vanguard's unique look and take on World War II. We're going to talk to our narrative team. I really hope there's not that weird film over everything. I fuck with Beanox and Raven. This is day maps. one. All right. And they're across all locations in the, their okay. western front, eastern front, North Africa, yep. as well as the Pacific. No, okay. just airstrip, market, courtyard, and train yard. Super depressing colors. A match on Gavutu, and you just came from the Pacific Theater. This is probably the gonna be the best looking map. Gavutu. You can preload for the beta. Oh, we can preload now, all right. And then we also have combat pacing. So combat you can now pacing? experience this huge range from tactical combat all the way up to blitz combat across those modes that are in the beta. What does that mean? When you're playing Blitz, it's just no holds bar. You're going in the filter system. So within quick match play, you're able to be like, oh, I prefer tactical. I'm going to be doing Blitz. I remember when we were just. I wonder how well that's going to work. Holy shit. Wait, I'll just spam Blitz the entire time. No way that there's going to be any faster of a way to get camos. The old like shipment, if you're having that level of combat yeah. pacing. That's what I was thinking. Is what's really fun because it's crazy. it's different map by map. It's so, so do you have shipment? Go in and you're he mentioned shipment. You know, clans. They're coming into the game. They're a tier one feature. I don't really care too much about this. It's not a bad feature. Tactical game. We're here to play. talk about gameplay. So this is reactive environment, okay. movement and footsteps, create a class, weapons. That feeling of pulling the trigger has to be awesome. And you need a tactical sprint is in the game. We have it coming back and you can just sprint through those walls as well. I hope it has noises now. Blind fire. Like, let's just talk about yeah. that for a second because blind fire is an all new. Yeah, it didn't seem very good. Vanguard. It's kind or of the useful. hip fire of mount. Okay. Setup where that makes more sense. You can ADS hip and firing go into and mount. And you're now able to move back and forth across that fire. You get the hip fire spread. You can actually go right back into mount and transition between the two. And it's, it's so fluid. It just feels like it was 
always supposed to be there. Why didn't they show any of the gameplay of the guy going back and forth, though? That's what I want to know what it looks like. In third person, if somebody's blind firing over something and they're walking back and forth strafing, what does that look like? Even with this idea of combat pacing around those structures, like we have tactical combat pacing where now destruction just matters so much more when there's a lower player count and it's so much more intimate. And then you go into something like Blitz, which is just crazy amounts of players in there. And those maps completely change based on how that combat pacing is blowing throughout every playlist that you're going good. into. All right, and, cool. And those Fuck modes it. Even. I just stay away from all the campers. Good. Fuck yeah. It's blitz caliber, all day. So you're able to now go caliber up or caliber down within each weapon. The heavier Ooh. the caliber, the more it's going to change the, the look of the walls. It's not just visual. Okay. Increasing the caliber does increase the damage the bullet does. So we're kind of moving away from this so. concept of protecting rate of fire and damage we're letting the players control it that sounds like a balancing nightmare but we'll see you got your primary weapon secondary weapon three perks okay. lethals and tacticals yep it's about choices and about the player having choices and the gunsmith system coming back we have caliber system ammo types 10 attachments as well that you can put on the gun i wonder what calibers will make a difference for a sniper rifle for example 10 attachments right remove sbmm why the fuck are there 10 attachments no sbmm expectations are now heightened drastically suppression is a new mechanic that slows people down and suppression is in uh, Battlefield, and I'm pretty sure that actually has an effect on your character as well. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, I imagine if there's Blitz and there's a whole bunch of LMG dudes mounted up with suppressing bullets, like extra suppression bonus on them or something, that's gonna be not fun at all. There's gonna be some busted shit, I can tell. It's gonna be so fun. Art direction and next gen tech. Art direction, yeah, I'm curious about this, because from the looks of it, most of the maps are really dark, or they got like this... What's the term? Like a vignette or like a like a sepia filter over everything. See, that map looks nice. This one looks okay. But they got like this weird smoke over them, like a fog. I want clarity. I want to be that character because that character kind of feels like me, you know? And I think that's huge. Not too important to me, but I mean, cool character design so far. The same thing happens within the maps as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we even have some maps that are actual spaces in the world. Is it just based off of something or are they going to show that crazy modern warfare shit? And try to figure out how we can get photogrammetry I like how they're showing this that home because when something feels more realistic you take it more seriously yeah. you know and when you want to be immersed except Piccadilly fuck Piccadilly we've been using some new software techniques to generate simulations for really windy situations mm -hmm. where the palm trees are colliding with each other and it really makes the map have this energy battlefield does a really good job of that where all of the foliage moving around you think of the wind that your character is in which I mean I guess for some people that feels like it kind of makes the map live, but it doesn't really matter to me. A lot of that has to do with composition of the landscape, the types of environments that we pick to play in, the palette, the color. A lot of it has to do with the tone. That map actually looks really nice. The entire team as a whole has done an amazing job making this look great. With that all looks the pretty content. good. I like Sledgehammer because they're willing to actually change things. So if something doesn't seem like it's working, they will yeah, change it. Uh, and the people that made those changes last time are still player. here. So the PC experience, this is what I'm looking for. Beanox, baby. A lot of settings to fully customize your experience throughout the game. I just want to make the game look as clear as possible. I added a setting that reduces the brightness of your other monitors. Well, It'd be nice sometimes. I don't know how often I'd use it. Yeah, that's really what I want to play it on. On what's coming to Warzone this year. Oh, here it comes. Warzone info. I'm Amos Hodge, Associate Creative Director. Amos! At that's my boy right there. I'm pleased to announce that there's a brand new Warzone map coming this year, yep. shortly after the launch of Vanguard. And we are going to the Pacific. Uh, I thought, an and we're going to get killed by hackers anyway. Oh, the colors look and great. Friends. Our goal was to create a fresh, new experience for Call of Duty players by breaking out of the war-torn world of Verdansk to create an atmosphere that is vibrant, Beautiful. alive, yeah. and really Warzone Pacific will share the same tech and engine as Call of Duty Vanguard. This allows for seamless weapon integration and play balance, fully optimized crossplay, cross progression and cross gen support will be enabled. so is the game actually so going to feel different whoa this could go really well or really badly faceted new anti cheat system okay it'll be rolled out with the new experience goes live later this year we're putting i it hope it's unbeatable and we are excited to have it ready day one when the new warzone day experience one. releases our teams have worked day one on warzone experience and much more and we'll i mean the map looks beautiful so. we look forward to playing with all of you later this year when the pacific officially comes online just change the color tone of your game yeah that and you can preload on playstation starting today i will for do your that. first look at live gameplay from call of duty vanguard core multiplayer 
Tune in now to one of your favorite creators from the entire development team around the world. Yeah, congratulations, so everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I mean, that was the uh, Vanguard multiplayer reveal, along with like some Warzone info and shit. I mean, we've heard good shit. I'm excited for it. I don't really have much more to say until we actually start playing it and everything. That blitz mode, that that blitz setting will probably be like, that's one of the biggest things that I've seen this whole time. Like it's a huge deal. Uh, I'm hoping that it makes as much of a difference as I'm thinking it does, uh, but who really knows? I don't really know what that's going to do with players or how that will match people based on skill or however that goes. I don't know. But everybody's going to start playing their shit now. Uh, I'm going to edit this, get it up and everything, and just watch everybody else play.